Join me on the next edition of the Classic Rock Podcast as one of our guests is a drummer who throughout his career has played with some of rock music's greatest ever players and whose work has adorned some of the era's most iconic albums, including one of the greatest ever debut albums from, of course, Montrose. And the drummer, well, that, of course, is Denny Carmassi. And here's a clip from the feature as Denny recounts meeting Ronnie Montrose for the very first time. I want to start a bit with you because to, to sort of explore a bit the relationship you had and the friendship with with Ronnie. You started playing, you said, in topless bars. Yeah. In the Bay Area, just after you left school. Yeah. And you appeared on Sweet Linda Divine. Now, that was Linda Tillery, wasn't it? Yes. Who was in a band called The Loading Zone, That's who right. had a bit of a reputation. Yes. So when did you first meet Ronnie? Like, to go back a bit, one night I get a call from a buddy of mine, and he says, uh, ask me if I had watched the Midnight Special the night before. And I said, no, that I didn't, that I had missed it. He said, they had a guitar player on there. Edgar Winter played, and they had a guitar player on there. He said that his name was like Ronnie Martinez or Ronnie Montez or something like that. He said he was a fantastic guitar player. And I don't know how much longer after that I get a call out of the blue and it's Ronnie Montrose. He got my number from Sam and uh, asked if he could come and, and see me play, you know, see me play somewhere. Yeah, yeah. And I was playing in a club in uh, Northern California that weekend and he came by himself and introduced himself and... That's how I met Ronnie. Were you amazed to find out that he'd never picked up a guitar until the age of 17? I didn't know that. I had no idea. No. No, I, I, I mean, yeah, that blows my mind because we used to sit around on the road and we'd be watching TV you know, like in somebody's room, and Ronnie always had a guitar in his hand. And he knew all the theme songs. He knew all the theme songs from these, uh, you know, 60s sitcoms and stuff <laughs> that he would play, and we'd laugh, you know, we'd joke around. And I had no idea he didn't, he didn't pick up the, cards, the guitar until he was 17. Well, that was Denny Carmassi. Now, join me on the Classic Rock podcast where you will be able to hear the full feature. Runs through about 30 minutes, and we talk not only about Montrose, but about Gamma, for whom there is a 3D box set about to be released on Cherry Red Records. We'll talk about Heart, Whitesnake, Cinderella, and his time with Coverdale Page. And also on the show, Robin George, who looks back on his career ahead of his new release, Ace Up Your Sleeve, which again is out on Cherry Red Records, and that is out in June.